My name is Casey Miller, founder of Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. There's a little part of me that said, how in the world was I qualified to start a nationally accredited award-winning school? Who was I not? I was being called by the divine. Now this is what the story is. If you look at my resume, you'd say, really? She's a farmer's daughter. She's someone that suffered from dyslexia and had a learning disability through high school. She's someone that, can you hear my story being your story that we question our qualifications? This is what I know. When you're being called to do something or when you have this dream that you feel like you're being asked to leave what's comfortable for you and go beyond, things will work out. For me, it was this. I felt like I was being called to do something different in the way that originally massage therapy was taught. At the time, there was only one way that massage therapy was being taught, and it was a very traditional Western approach. And I got this idea, this crazy download, and that's how it'll come, you'll get these crazy downloads, that I wanted to start a massage school. And so for me, I went out and just rented one little room that I thought, oh, we could start a massage school in this. Well, that massage school has gone from one little room in a strip mall to a larger building to now a beautiful, beautiful campus. How did that happen? Was I qualified? Did I have all the credentials? Did I know exactly the steps along the way? No. What I did is I remained a willing instrument. When you get an idea, all of the resources will come your way as long as you stay in this place of willingness. I say the Course of Miracles prayer almost every day. I certainly said it when I began Suiha, and I certainly have said it many times over the years, and it's this. O oh, Divine, what would you have me do? Where would you have me go? And what would you have me say? That's the way that you start a holistic business. Holistic means that you're whole, you're holy, that it's not specifically about making money, although that is important. What it specifically is, it's about making yourself available to the divine to use you. What started out as a little tiny dream, I wanted to do a massage college differently, began to have more invitations. Well, what if you did hypnotherapy differently? What if you did nutrition differently? What if you did yoga differently? Or what if you just did what was being placed in front of you? Understand that when the divine gives you these downloads, when you get these wild ideas, that is actually your soul saying, we're ready to do what we were sent to earth to do. I believe that. I believe our intuition is actually our soul's voice. And when we hear our soul, we have two decisions. We do it, not fully knowing all of the steps along the way, or we deny our soul's urging, and we will circle and circle and circle until we make a new decision. We will go down the path of disappointment, feeling disappointed in ourselves, or finally we'll take this deep breath and step into the unknown, the unknowing, knowing that we're following our divine spirit path. What I can tell you is that I didn't know how to do this. I probably wasn't qualified other than to the divine. And the divine said, she's, she's, she'll, she'll be the one that we'll use. She'll be the one that we'll use. She will be the one that we will use because she's willing to be used in a way that will serve the divine. Please don't doubt yourself. If you are getting those rumblings, those little soul messages, go with it. You're qualified.